What's up? It's your boy Donovan, and in art vlog number seven, we're picking up right where we left off in the last one. And that is with the topographic sculpture project from my 3D design class. Last week, I made an initial sketch in Procreate, created a nice clean draft in Illustrator, and what you see me doing in this vlog, I printed the design out to the correct scale, taped all the pieces together. I then traced this design onto some tracing paper, and then copy that onto my uh, two by four, which I picked up from Home Depot. And as soon as I got that design traced out onto that wood, I went straight for the saw. The first day I kind of just took my time to get the hang of like the material I was using, the wood, um, as well as all of the uh, power tools, the saws. In sculpture class, I finished the paper mache mass this week and we started on our next project, which is a clay bust. And I'm choosing to do a self-portrait bust because I, for years now, have wanted one of myself and I'm finally getting the opportunity to just go ahead and be the one who makes it. For the paper mache mask, I touched up the paint, then added some netting to both the top and the bottom of the mask so that I can weave in the hay collar at the bottom and then the hair at the top. I made a really rookie mistake and got some yellow paint on the front of my mask, which is why I have to touch up the paint. But it was fine because I also realized that I wanted to do a matte varnish coat over the mask anyway. So I just touched up the paint before putting the varnish on. I actually don't know how I feel about the finished product. I don't hate it. I think it's good, but it just feels like it's missing something. I know that when I first started working on this, I cited an ivory mask from Benin as partial like reference, partial inspiration, but this mask was primarily inspired by a dream that I had um, maybe like two years ago now. In this dream, I was in West Philly and I was just like walking the streets and there was nobody in the entire city. It was completely deserted. It was just me. As I'm walking up the street, you know, the pavement kind of fades away, becomes dirt and dust. And I realized that I've walked from Philly to Benin, but it really was that Philly became Benin. I see one person aside from myself and it's a woman and she's kind of got her back up against a wall and she's like dancing and she kind of looks like she's in a trance. She is a black woman and she's wearing a hay collar like the one that I included on this mask and she's also wearing hay around her wrists and her ankles so in a, a hay skirt as well so that when she's dancing you know all the movement reverberates through like all the straw um, and it just looks really you know um, like hypnotizing you know I approached her and then her eyes locked on me and I got so scared and I started to like run away but as I was running away she was always following me she was always like there directly in front of my face and so eventually I realized wait let me just stop for a second and stop running away and I stopped running and I just like stood there and I confronted her I was afraid in the dream I was afraid that I was going to turn into her like she was going to possess me but once I stopped running I realized oh she's not gonna hurt me at all she's not trying to possess me like you know I, I can just get to know her in this way like I can watch her dance I don't know, it just need, it needs something. It needs something, something, very much something. I, at first, was dreading it. The first day that our uh, professor wanted us to work on it, he wanted to like 
get, get everybody started at the same time. I was still trying to work on my mask and so I was very annoyed that he was trying to get me to switch back to clay and I was not ready for clay yet. But now that I'm ready for it, now that the first that or my last project is done, I feel like I'm extremely excited for the bust. <laughs> We're really starting to gear up in my drawing class. We finished the still lifes from last vlog last week. There's also going to be a student show at my school soon. And for my 3D design class, it's mandatory for us to submit a piece. So I'm thinking I am gonna submit this still life drawing. It's a contour drawing. The little little image in the corner is the thumbnail that I started with. We weren't supposed to add any shadows, just line variation in order to show like, you know, lights and darks and depth and all that stuff. The detail in the bottle is probably the most impressive part because that's a technique that I used to use um, in high school when I would do a lot of colored pencil drawings. And we're gonna end this vlog with a rant about my computer design class thank you so much for watching if you've watched this far make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see y'all in the next one bye that computer design class i'm just like i'm over it i'm over it and it's not like it's really bad it's not it's not it's just dreadfully boring this latest assignment that is going to take up the rest of the semester feels like i don't want to do it <laughs> No, like I'll do it, but I don't want to do it the way that he's telling us to do it. I have an issue with the steps. It feels um, unnecessary and it feels tedious for no reason. It feels like busy work, dare I say. And it feels like not even the best way to do this assignment. I think that there's a much more interesting way to do this assignment in an easier way also. And I think I'm just going to do it my way but I'm nervous that I'm going to end up getting a bad grade because I'm not doing the exact things that he's asking for. So I guess I could, I, I could ask, I could ask him about it or I could just do what I want and ask forgiveness instead of permission, which is my go-to actually. <laughs> and then if you get mad about it, we can talk about it, but I'm grown. <laughs>